Let's take a look at lunge progressions inside of the primal seven system. Let's come to the GIST system and get it into the start position for lunge phase one. For lunge phase one, again, we have the opportunity to focus on alignment here. It's very supported, and so in that, really give yourself the opportunity to gauge where you're at inside of the proper movement of the lunge, where is the body going, where are we putting the pieces of the body, what adjustments need to be made, and what muscles are functioning, and what should be doing, or what should be happening, rather, inside of the lunge. We'll ride the protective covers up and pull the rings down towards the floor until the band comes underneath the gluteal fold. The gluteal fold being where your glutes and your hamstrings meet. And we'll take a little step back into the band until they're charged from anchors into band. And I'll step my right foot back, setting up for lunge position, rolling the left hip back and pressing the right hip forward. And take a shallow dip of my right quadricep down towards the floor. In that space, I'll come back up and lengthen through both, both of my legs, focusing on keeping my front foot really rooted and pointed forward, my back heel lifted, and placement of my weight in that back leg on the ball of my foot. So all of the alignment cues that we would normally look for inside of lunge, you get the chance to really assess it here in phase one stationary lunge. Okay. So from phase one lunge, we'll move into phase two controlled lunge. We'll bring the band to the start position for controlled lunge, release levers up, foot into the band, and drive the band down to the floor. And we'll come out to lengthen the band, bringing the back into the band, and shoulders hug just into that space. And since I've controlled lunge involves the rings, and I've got to get to them, I'm going to hug the bands underneath my arms, walk towards the rings, and pull the rings back towards my body until my elbows come to a 90 degree bend. Again, focus here is on balance and the controlled lunge. We'll step the feet forward, about a natural step, especially for beginning this exercise. We don't, take the, one, don't want to take the feet too far forward. We'll bring the feet together right in the middle of the anchors that are holding the system in place. So we'll take the right leg back into the lunge on a nice shallow depth for finding the first lunge and then step the foot back. Step back into your lunge and then back. So as we progress through the lunge exercise, you can look for a little bit more depth into the release of the lunge, but still focusing on all of the alignment portions of the exercise. Belly pulled in, shoulders down, hips and shoulders stacked, and then a nice drive off of that front leg as we come to our full stand. Really controlled movement. So from our controlled lunge, we'll move into phase three lunge, which brings us to a hands-free situation. So in the same respect, we'll bring the feet together right underneath the anchors to make really balanced integrity inside of the movement for the exercise. Arms up to a T. So we'll take our leg up towards the strap first. And again, we're focusing on all the alignment pieces, ankle, hips, shoulders, in line with each other, engage through the muscles, Balancing back and taking the foot to the floor. As we're still speaking to this space of progression and regression, first move of the exercise can be a gauge to where it's a shallow release into the lunge. And then as we progress inside of the exercise, the foot can be brought to a hover just above the earth. Still focusing on aligning the body properly and engaging the muscles in balance for this coordinated dynamic exercise. Phase one, phase two, and phase three lunging with progressions inside of each of the phases.